Hey guys, uh, we are in another hallway now, um, just showing you the emergency lighting. So again, I'm gonna let Jesse take over and show you how he does a quick inspection. Yes, so we're back and now we're checking exit and emergency lighting. So I check the extinguishers and the exit and emergency lights for this facility. Now, what I perform here is a 30 second quick check. There's three different ways really to test an exit and emergency lighting. And this is the quickest, most simplest assessment. So let me walk you through it. So each exit and emergency light combo in this case is being fed by the AC power of the building. Okay, so what happens when the power goes out? These lights still need to remain illuminated. So there's a battery inside and the battery will, it'll convert over to the battery's power if the power goes out and it'll keep this LED board illuminated showing exit, but then it will also put on these emergency lights so everyone has at least some, some form of egress. Okay, so how do we test that? Quite easy, on a quick check, there are these little test buttons on the side and it's basically, basically simulating a power outage and it tests the battery. So if I hold this button down, for 30 seconds, fast forward 30 seconds, right? 25, <laughs> 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We can easily assess that this fixture is functioning properly. And what I will do is show that by affixing this label to it. So if the AHJ were to walk through, they would be able to determine, hey, this light has been at least assessed and things are looking pretty good. Now, what we also can provide for you as a company on your exit and emergency lighting is either, well, I put that on crooked. Um, <laughs> it's tough being short. Um, we can also provide more thorough examinations of the units. Now, this can be performed by either an annual battery test or a 90 minute test. And the differences are this. An annual battery test, we would take this unit apart. We would take the front face plate off, we would get the battery out, and we would put it under a battery analyzer. And that would be able to quickly de determine whether or not this battery is going to illuminate this fixture for the 90 minutes that it is required to be illuminated should the power go out. Okay, and in a 90 minute test, it's fairly similar, but the means of testing the lights are completely different. So ideally, all of your lights are all tied in to a designated circuit. So we would come into your facility and we would flip that radio.